Matt Vaskersian here as the guys and I bring you closer to first pitch on the MLB pregame show with tonight's installment of the Bowman Prospect Spotlight. Vince Holmes is in that spotlight. And we all suspect that this day would eventually come when we saw him drafted in the first round a while back. He's made the journey through the minors, and he makes his major league debut in this one. Well, Matt, making your debut in the show is a very satisfying and exciting experience. Now, you work your entire life to reach this moment, and when you finally do, it can be really overwhelming in a lot of different ways. So not only are you dealing with nerves, but also everything just seems bigger. The stadium, the crowd, the pressure, it's all amplified at this level. As for this guy, there's been a lot of hype around him since before he was even drafted, so I think everyone is excited to see what he looks like in big league competition. All right, lineups and first pitch are coming up next. Stay tuned for that right here on the show. Tuesday night baseball now from Yankee Stadium here in the Bronx. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the Boston Red Sox and their arch rivals, the New York Yankees. And before we get too much further, here's a look at each manager's starting lineup here for the opener. And let's not forget our two starting pitchers as you see how they match up for this one. Holmes digs in at the plate. Seven, the shortstop, Vince Holmes. Now here's the first pitch. And a changeup that just about got away from him there as that ran in a bit too far. Eric Karros, this Red Sox ball club entering play here tonight. They've been in a nice little groove winning three of their last four games. And the thing about baseball is that each new day brings a new opportunity. So we'll see if these guys are up to the task here. Ready now on one and one. And he finds a way to catch the zone here. It's one and two. Boy, good pitch, good spot. That thing tailed right back over the outside corner. And oh, a big rip at the curveball, but he didn't get it. And he becomes the second casualty of the inning. Well, this curveball, it just disappears. He thinks he's right on it at the plate. And Look where it winds up, completely out of the zone. And that's what you want as a pitcher. You want hitters to chase pitches that aren't strikes. We got one here. Now a knuckleball that's on the ground to short. Throw on to Teixeira, two down. Try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. He waits. Now the pitch. High and away on the first pitch fastball there. It's ball one. Now you've got the tying run over at first. Two away. He's going to be looking to try and find a gap right here and bring that guy all the way around the four. Out of play off to the right. It's one and one. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. All the way here to start the at-bat. And that's fine, but you can't be afraid to work inside. You can jam this guy. Get him to roll over something. You don't have to strike him out. And this will be fouled away. Come on, guys. Wait for a good one. Try it. Two, two. Now a check swing, but that's in there for strike three anyway, and the inning is over. Number 23 will dig in. 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Number 23. Hey, now, we got one. We got one. Here we go, boys. Hey, let's turn this. 
First pitch on the way. Runner goes for second. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. And it's far too late as he deals second with ease. David Ortiz will stand in now. A punch out victim twice already. EK, I'll ask you because you're the one sitting next to me. Do you approach an at bat differently when you have two strikeouts under your belt this early in the game? Well, you do in the sense that whatever you did the first two times, it wasn't working. But I think if you start worrying too much about trying to avoid that. And another runs across as this is now a 4 nothing ball game. his last time. First pitch coming. Got him to go up the ladder there for strike one. Yet again, another first pitch strike. And it's a big reason of why he's having the success he is. You establish the count in your favor right away, and it just opens up the door to so many more options going forward. And he'll be safe at second base. Good instincts to take off there on what will likely be ruled a passed ball. Set now the pitch. Struck him out as his woes continue as that's his third strikeout of the game. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> that's a rough night at the ballpark here. Third strikeout. One thing you can't do, though, you can't go into that dugout hanging your head. You've got to think, hey, it's over. I'll get another shot to redeem myself. Whether that's tonight or, or sometime in the future, that's the attitude you have to have. Slider, and that's in there for strike two. That man's team has definitely shot itself in the foot with all the strikeouts so far. It seems like it's been a growing trend so far, but man, you've just got to be able to put the ball in play when you've got runners in scoring position. Catch is made. Here comes the time run from third. And the run will score from third on the sacrifice fly, and we are tied here in the late inning steps to the plate, he knows exactly what he's got to do. This one's deep enough to get the job done, and that ties up the ball game. Didi Gregorius will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. And boys, probably a handful of deserving candidates for our top player of the game award, but what do you say we go ahead and give it to the man who shut the door out of the pen? Yeah, it's nice to have someone like this that you can call on to finish things.
Getting set for baseball now on a Thursday night from Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. Tonight we wrap up this three-game series between the Boston Red Sox and their arch rivals, the New York Yankees. And before we close in on first pitch, a look at the starting lineups here for the finale. And let's not forget our two starting pitchers as you see how they match up for this one. straightaway right. Castillo is there to take this one and the bottom of the second starts with a one pitch out. So the runner at first here with two gone in the inning and standing in now the versatile Pablo Sandoval. He's set now the pitch. Now a hard liner towards short and Sandoval's aboard a base hit. With some guys, it doesn't matter if it's 0-2 or 2-0. They take the same approach either way. This right here is one of those guys. He comes through from being down in the count. Vince Holmes is next as he finds himself behind 0-1. Figure we'll probably see a heavy dose of that sinker here tonight. It's really a pitch you'll lean on, especially when he needs that ground ball. But even in situations like this where he's just trying to get ahead. Right field. Under it, Castillo, and Rusny has it for route number two. Dustin Pedroia will try it again. He's grounded out and struck out in two trips. Hit on the ground is shortstop. Throw on to first will take care of Pedroia, and there are two away. Hanley Ramirez will step in. One for two in the ball game. Come on, guys. They put him away. Pause. Now the pitch. Hit on the ground is short. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. And the throw won't be in time as he'll be able to beat out the recovery throw at first. This Holt will stand in again blown out in each of his first two plate appearances thus far. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. Not too many strikeouts on the ledger for him so far, but it hasn't really mattered. Yeah, I think ideally you'd like to see him miss a few more bats, but as long as you're keeping guys off balance and you're letting your defense help you, you don't need to strike a ton of guys out to be successful. Here's a ground ball to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. 